Hey, what's up, guys? This is Vimal here, and welcome back to TR HD. In today's video, we're gonna check out this new bad boy from Harley Davidson. It's my new Dyna Street Bob. In this video, I'm gonna give a brief review and have a walk around this. So let's go check out this bike. So this is a Harley Street Bob. This bike's got mile eating performance wrapped in Dyna chassis, stripped down in a hardcore bobber style. This bike was designed by the original bobber fanatics and while making this, they had only one rule. If it weighs you down, just get rid of it. All it takes is a twist of your wrist to send whatever the world is trying to weigh you down with to the vanishing point behind you. That's what Harley's got to say about this bike. Now, let me tell you about the riding experience. This bike's got authentic cruiser styling and it's definitely a head turner. It has a stylish handlebar and a very comfortable seating position. This beast weighs about 304 kgs but feels weightless while riding it. Once you get on this bike and start riding it, I promise you'll never get down. It has a beautiful vintage looks with the new engineering and the chrome work is really awesome. This bike has a unique handlebar. They call it the Mini Ape handlebar. It's made out of premium quality stainless steel. This handlebars got a pure post-war bobber styling with all the wiring done from the inside, which gives it a minimalistic and clean look. Riding this bike in streets is very easy and it gives you an experience which no other bike can deliver. You can feel the low-end torque of the 67 BHP twin cam engine and it's absolutely fantastic. On the whole, this bike gives you an awesome riding experience which no other bike can. So let's walk around this bike and see what it's got. Just look at the paint job and the chrome work. It's on a different level. It has an ultra premium look and finish. I haven't seen such a quality work on any bike till now. Just look at that massive V-twin engine and the chrome staggered straight cut dual exhaust. This guy over here is just a big bad boy. This bike comes with a barrel shaped key with a HD security system. So let me just turn the key and show you all its features. Let me just turn on the ignition switch. This display indicates neutral, headlight, oil and turn signal indicators. And above that, you've got a classic analog speedometer with electronic display, which shows odometer, dual trip meters, clock, gear and RPM. This bike's got a raw look with a big blacked out fuel tank mounted console which delivers a great style and awesome functionality with textured black finish on it. This is a fuel indicator and the fuel economy of this bike is around 15 km per litre. Now let's check out all the switches on the handlebar. You've got a left turn indicator switch over here and above that you've got a headlight switch, the high beam and low beam. The switches are of really high quality. You've got a trip mode switch over here and a horn switch below it. Now let's see what switches you've got on the right handlebar. You've got an engine off or run switch. Below that you've got a right signal turn indicator switch and you've got a hazard light switch and an electric starter. Now let's start the engine and hear Harley's signature sound. So this is a Harley's famous potato potato sound and I just love it. Now 
Now let's talk about the specs of this bike. The ground clearance of the bike is 110mm and the seat height is around 680mm. The length of the bike is 2.4 meters. This is a massive twin cam 96 engine and you've got the air filter over here. You've got a classic style Harley Davidson medallion bolted on both the sides of the fuel tank. This is a 45 degree V twin 1585cc twin cam 96 engine and it's got a power of 67 bhp which glides through the streets. You've got your rear brake pedal over here. You can see the 6 speed written on it, it's a 6 speed machine. These are the beautiful chrome twin exhaust and this is your battery box. Here are the rear shocks, these rear shocks are adjustable and here's the rear disc brake assembly, it's made by Harley and comes with a factory installed ABS. These are the Michelin tires. Now let's check out the front part, let's go to the front wheel. This is the front disc brake and you've got beautiful reflectors on the front shocks. These Michelin tires are made for Harley. You can see Harley written on the tire. This is a headlamp with a Harley logo at its center. These are the front suspensions. And you've got your handlebar lock over here. This front suspension has a black and chrome design combination. It looks really good. Milwaukee, USA. It's a place where Harley's museum is. This is the ignition switch. And here's the fuel cap. And on the other side you've got the fuel indicator and it's got a fuel tank capacity of 18 liters. This is a massive air cooled engine. This engine produces lots of heat. In highways it's okay but in city traffic conditions I feel a little bit uncomfortable while riding on it due to the heat produced by the engine in low speeds. This is a beautiful chrome side stand but be careful by parking this bike because the position of the side stand is not so good. This street bob comes with a belt drive. You can see the belt drive system over here. And this is a rare massive tire. The retro style bullet tail lights and indicators look pretty cool on this bike. So that was it guys, a quick walk around this Harley Street Bob. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching it. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe for more new awesome videos and I'll see you in the next one.